Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title below, we are going to do an Empire Alchemy haul. Now, full disclosure, these have been sitting for a long time. I thought I filmed a video, but I de never got around to filming it. I mean, I have, I put little stickers on here, April 2022. And then this one is June 2022. So these were two different restocks from Empire Alchemy. I, I, I can't tell you when, but I never got around to filming them because one, I hear Empire Alchemy really needs to sit for a good long time to develop. I've heard a lot of people have hits and misses with Empire Alchemy, so I sort of ordered, sniffed, put them away, and I would get around to it. And I never got around to it. So. Today's the day I'm sitting here to talk about my Empire Alchemy. Now, Empire Alchemy is new to me. I haven't really melted anything from them. A couple samples here and there, but they were very old, and I can't really judge from a sample. But anyway, the reason why I order from Empire Alchemy is, number one, Lexi here on YouTube, two quick wicks. She raves about Empire Alchemy. And then Charity here on YouTube, Charity Rose, one set in particular actually of two bags of that she absolutely loves and I do too on cold but anyway Empire Alchemy I will link her Facebook group down below she does restock she does pre-orders she does customs she's very very active on Facebook so you'll notice there's definitely always interaction you can always get your questions answered turnaround time is really really great from what I've seen I had no issues with either of my orders um, and for the most part, her blends are super, super unique. So every vendor really has their own thing. And I'm ordering from vendors that I, you know, think are unique, have their own style. And I can't say that Empire Alchemy is going to be in my rotation of all, like, vendors that I consistently order from because I haven't melted from them yet. I do think I'm going to try out a couple bags this week um, just because... I really want to try them in April, April to May, May to June, June to, June to July, July to August. It's like four months. I feel like that's a pretty good amount of cure time to test out. And her Empire bags, which is what I have the most of here, is good for like a main space. And then I also have some of her waffle shapes. So I have a lot to get into. So without further ado, let's get into it. First up is Main Street Strawberry. This is the one that Charity absolutely raved about, so I knew I had to pick it up. And Main Street Strawberry is Waffle Cone, Vanilla Ice Cream, Fresh Fried Beignets, Kettle Corn, and Sweet Strawberries. This bag is from April, and this bag is from June, so I definitely have some good wax to use. And I feel like these Empire bags are going to be good for like one use in my whole entire main space. They are these little triangle shapes like this, and that's fabulous, especially with some cure time on it. You definitely can pick up on like the fresh picked strawberry. It's that juicy, fresh, juicy, juicy, fresh, juicy. Very juicy, red, succulent strawberry. And then you can smell a little bit of that like yeasty beignet donut type of note with the kettle corn. You can get that like popped corn note. Now I would not necessarily classify this as like a circus concession type scent because it's not like apple, it's strawberry, but it is a really yummy, creamy strawberry bakery scent. And the waffle cone just, I feel, rounds it out. Vanilla ice cream, yeah. I mean, it really is just a creamy, creamy, rich strawberry bakery scent. So really excited to melt this and give it a shot. I think I might do that this week. Next, we have Seventh and Fig. I'm a sucker for fig scents, and I feel like a lot of vendor wax doesn't do a lot of fig. And with Empire Alchemy, really, uh, her emphasis is very unique blends. This is Strawberry Shortcake, Fig Jam, Rhubarb, and Citrus Bakery. Now, this is really yummy. I don't pick up a ton of fig, though, I will say. The more I smell it, like, deep in the bag, inhale, you can get a hint of that sweet green fig. And fig is a very unique fragrance, in my opinion. When you smell it, you can get, like, almost like a, a sharpness of a fig. It really makes your nose be like, oh, that's fig. I, I love it. I love fig notes. But I feel like the strawberry and the rhubarb are 
definitely in the forefront here. And as far as Citrus Bakery, that really doesn't say a whole lot. I can't necessarily pick up, oh yeah, that's like orange cake. But it does smell like a very citrusy, fruity fragrance with a little bit of that sweet tart sharpness of the fig. I do enjoy it. I'm excited to melt it. I'm excited to melt all of these because I really haven't experienced Empire Alchemy a lot, but there's definitely some that I really enjoy more than others, just like any vendor, right? Next, we have Michigan Apple Cider Donuts. And it's funny, these guys, there are some triangle shapes, but then there is like a little USA shape. And this is beautiful. This is the non-spicy apple cider forward donut fragrance that is delicious. And I definitely plan on like burning the Kringle apple cider donut candle when I have this melting because this smells very similar. It's that, like I said, real crisp, honey crisp apple cider donut scent. I feel like sometimes vendors say apple cider donut and it leans more towards like cinnamon apples where I really want that donut. I want that yeastiness. I want that really decadent, rich, comforting donut mixed with the apple cider. And to me, that's what Michigan is bringing to the table. So really happy for that one. The next one we have is Kitchen Sink Cookies. This had my name written all over it. Gooey caramel, hint of chocolate, vanilla cookies, pretzels, and sea salt. You know me, I'm a sucker for pretzel. Love me a pretzel scent. And this is a very chocolate forward pretzel. Now, it's funny what comes to mind when I smell this kitchen sink cookie scent. The kitchen sink cookies cookie from Panera. Actually, at, um, at my work, there's a Panera across the street, and they always have like, add on a cookie for 99 cents. And I'm like, no, but I, I want a cookie because I love cookies. I love bakery. I love ice cream. I love all sorts of like gooey caramel, hint of chocolate, vanilla cookies, pretzels, and sea salt. Sign me up. It sounds like the best ever. And it is. It smells like an everything but the kitchen sink cookie. You get the cookie. You get that batter, that dough. You get a little bit of chocolate. But I will say if you don't love chocolate and wax, still give it a shot because I feel like the sea salt and the caramel pretzel really take over the chocolate note. I feel like Empire Alchemy is more known for her like fresh outdoorsy woodsy fragrances. So to see like a really yummy bakery set, I'm excited. Next is Power Up. And this is key lime curd, pie crust, vanilla cream, and pineapple upside down cake. So almost like a key lime pie and pineapple upside down cake hybrid. And you, it's really cool. It's really cool. The only thing I can picture when I smell this is like a pineapple upside down like poke cake. Almost like, not a yellow cake, like a white cake that you poked holes in, and then you pour the pineapple juice and like laid fresh, fresh lime slices on the top. I know like a pineapple lime is kind of interesting, but they both are like that acidic citrusy fragrance. So you have equal parts of pineapple upside down cake and key lime pie blended together. And you can really get the pie crust too, which is hard to find in wax. I think pie crust gets lost a lot of the times in notes, but you can really get the pie crust element in here. So if you like citrusy bakery with a twist, definitely give that a try. Excited for that one. This just sounded so intriguing to me, boysenberry pancakes. And this is boysenberry jam, whipped cream, and buttered pancakes. Something about like a pancake waffle fragrance, I always, I say it, I feel like in every video, this is gonna be great for Sunday mornings. And yeah, this is a Sunday morning scent. It's boysenberry for sure. And boysenberry, I feel like when you go to like a high-end restaurant and they have like, oh, the pancake special of the day is a boysenberry pancake. So it's a light, rich, airy um, pancake. And then you get one really big, thick pancake instead of like a stack of pancakes. And then the butter's like in a tin 
freshly whipped that you can just scrape it or you can just spread it right on the on the pancake. You don't have to like dig it and it's super hard. It's really soft, fresh butter. And then there's a little jar of jam and you're like, oh, what is this jam? And they say, it's like, oh, it's boysenberry jam that we got fresh from the Hamptons or something crazy like that. That's what this smells like. It is a very, very decadent breakfast blend. No maple syrup, which I'm happy about. I don't like like maple syrup notes. I feel like, I mean, it can add to the realistic effect of the pancakes with syrup, but for me, it just it just hides all the other notes. Where the berry really shines through on the pancake. So really excited for that one. And this was an April pour too, so maybe my next Sunday I have off, I will um, pop that in the warmers in the morning. Next, we have Lost Missives. Now, this was really interesting to me. Red Merlot, bourbon, caramel popcorn, cedarwood, and vanilla. Sounds really interesting, right? Especially with the Red Merlot. And then you have, like, boozy popcorn. Yeah, this is really cool. I will say, if you're into unique blends, something like you don't have in your collection... I think Lost Missives is out of all of these, the one you should try to pick up if you see it on a restock. You really get the red wine. Like, you smell rich, heavy wine, very dry red wine. But you also can smell like the booziness of the bourbon. And I love like boozy alcohol notes and wax because I think it just really translates and really deepens the fragrance. Then with a hint, Popcorn and vanilla. Yeah, it's really, really cool. They're, they're, it's a unique blend that I don't know how she came up with it, but they all really work together. So if you're in for something really different, maybe putting this in when company's over for them to all be like, what is that scent in your house? It smells so good and just so different. That's the one in my opinion. Next, the last Empire bag we have is Hearthside Coffee. And this is gingerbread cake, caramel, vanilla latte, vanilla crumb donut, and a hint of hot cocoa. I don't know why, but vanilla crumb donut, every time I see that oil, she uses it quite a bit in her blends. It's just like, delish. This is a very bitter coffee latte, is what I would say. I don't really get that donut note. I can get a hint of hot cocoa but it's not like super chocolate forward. It's definitely just a hint, but it's more of a bitter coffee, which I'm not mad about. I definitely think it will be a nice coffee blend to have, especially in the fall and winter. That's why I wanted to haul these so I can get to melting and experiencing them. But I feel like I don't have enough coffee in my collection. I say it all the time. I also don't really reach for it. And I think the reason why I don't reach for it is because I don't have enough in my collection, if that makes any sense. So, really excited to check this one out. I I like like different coffee sets. All right, those are my Empire bags. Then we have two pack of waffles, and I'll pull it out just one so you can see. So you do get a two pack of these. I'll probably snap these in like thirds. I feel like half is too much, but a four is not enough. Wow, okay, this one right off the bat, pumpkin snap. Gingerbread donuts, cinnamon, and pumpkin buttercream. It is a very cinnamon forward fragrance. Very like cinnamon stick craft store vibe with donut. Almost like, I feel like if you were going to like an artisanal donut store and in the shop was like, Craft Store Donut is the special of the day, which is like a very cinnamon forward donut fragrance. I feel like this is what that is. It's a very, it is donut-y. You can definitely pick up on the donut, but it's very like cinnamon stick first. Next we have October Twilight, and this is roasted pine cones, pumpkin cake, buttercream frosting, and toasted pine needles. So really, really different. It's very, very earthy. Um, the pine cone and the pine needle are definitely forward. You can see that it's like very, like, very tree, earthy, woodsy. And then as far as like pumpkin cake and buttercream frosting, 
I can get a little bit of a queeniness in the background, but for the most part, it is just that green, woodsy, earthy, leaning, creamy, if that makes any sense. Next, we have Good King Wins Winslaw? Wins Winslaw's? I, I don't know exactly how to pronounce that, but this is one... When I saw it offered, I was like, this is one I need. It's cinnamon sugared buttercream cupcakes, Palo Santo, wood shavings, and bonfire. So, cinnamon sugared buttercream cupcakes, so bakery, Palo Santo, wood shavings, and bonfire. So, smoky, sexy, and then wood shavings. Again, I would not classify this as a bakery scent because it has cinnamon buttercream Cinnamon sugar buttercream cupcakes. Definitely leans more towards, definitely leans more towards like woodsy smoky. I think this has a really good Palo Santo bonfire blend because the bonfire can be smoky, really, really heady and really sharp. But the Palo Santo mellows it down, makes it very smooth. And I think the cinnamon sugar buttercream and the Palo Santo are that powerhouse joint locked together to mellow out the bonfire. As far as wood shavings go, I was expecting to smell like a pencil, like a number two pencil being sharpened. And I don't really get that. I definitely get a very smooth, smoky scent, which is really, really pretty. I think this will be a really nice, like, sexy bedroom set. Really excited to check that one out. The next one is Gentleman Autumn, and this is Kentucky Bourbon, Toasted Walnut, Vanilla Bean, and Barbershop 1920s. Now, Barbershop 1920s is not shaving cream. I think there might be shaving cream in it, but it's not just shaving cream like I love. But I do really like this. Now, if I'm being honest, these notes are great. To me, it smells like, like a bourbon maple syrup. That's exactly what I smell, like a bourbon syrup, which is crazy. I've had it a couple times. There's like a fancier like brunch place down here, and they have like a bourbon infused maple syrup. And as soon as I smelled this, it's exactly what it smells like to me. But don't think of it as like maple syrup. Think of it as like a maple, a maple or a bourbon syrup. Like, don't think of it as maple forward. There are no maple in the notes, but I think the blend of the toasted walnut, vanilla bean, and Kentucky bourbon together give you that, like, really rich, breakfasty blend. And then as far as Barbershop 1920s, I'm not smelling any of that. Maybe it'll come out when you warm it, but for now, I don't smell any of that. Next is Autumn Nocturne, and this is Oak Branches, Dark Roasted Coffee, Acorn, and Vanilla. So, another coffee blend. But not really. This is definitely more Oak, Acorn, Vanilla. Mm, okay, maybe you get a little coffee at the end. I take that back. You get a little coffee at the end, but it's a very creamed coffee. Like... You know those people, when you get a coffee and the, there's like three quarters of it is cream. Blend it in with the vanilla and the oak and the acorn. It definitely smells more of like a roasted coffee with a lot of cream. It's really yummy though. Really like that. Next is the forest floor. And this is cedarwood, patchouli, clove, and cardamom buds. Now, or cardamom pods. Patchouli is not my favorite. This is this is interesting. You, I don't love it. I don't love it. I can smell the patchouli, but I was expecting when I hear forest floor to be like very green, and it's not. I'm not really sure why I ordered it. It definitely gives me like hippie vibes, especially with the patchouli. It's very like a like a head shop, like you're walking into a head shop and they have like, they're all wearing their patchouli cologne, so, Ooh, not my favorite. Next we have Autumn at Dusk, and this one is Toasted Pumpkin Seeds, Oud, Patchouli, Buttercream, and Amber. Again, patchouli, but I thought, yep, see this one's, 
This one's yummy, but it's interesting. You definitely get toasted pumpkin seeds. Like the pumpkin seeds are roasted in the oven. They're very dry, but you do get almost like a, like a butternut squash vibe from the pumpkin because it is so roasty and toasty. Amber, mmm, oud, absolutely. Oud is a very deep wood, and I love the smell of oud. I have an oud cologne that's just beautiful. Yeah, this is really nice. I don't know where I would melt this. Maybe the kitchen, because I like the toasted pumpkin seeds, but I feel like the oud, patchouli, and amber add a little bit more of, like, a sexy bedroom. Next, we have Calico Cat, and this is caramelized brulee, Gingerbread brulee, caramelized sugar, black tea, and vanilla ice cream. Definitely get tea, which out of all those notes, I'm crazy that I smell black tea first. But you definitely get black tea, like a tea bag. And then the caramelized sugar and the gingerbread brulee. So I can kind of pair those together because caramelized sugar and gingerbread brulee Caramelized sugar is like on the top of a creme brulee, so like a gingerbread creme brulee. I don't think it necessarily is super gingerbready, like how you might think. Oh, that's real gingerbread. I don't, I don't see that. I see way more of a sugary sweet black tea, almost like if you had a black tea and you put a lot of cream in it. So sort of that vibe of like the coffee one. And then last but not least is Sweater Hugs, and this is Cedarwood, Coriander, Honeycomb, Oud, and Tonka Bean. Very different notes, right? This, this is very, very different. It has to be the Coriander, because it's very fresh. I feel like this one smells, like some of these can like lean in the same category. Sweater Hugs is different than any of the other ones, because the green coriander. It's very fresh and sharp, a little peppery, which adds that little bit of like a, hmm, that's different to the note. The, the coriander definitely is sharp, where the honeycomb and the cedar wood are sweet and woodsy, like woodsy chippy. It's really different. As far as like the name Sweater Hugs, I can see that because, you know, um, if you have a really, really nice good cashmere sweater, you store it in a cedar chest. So that one's really different. As I was going through, I actually found one more Empire bag, and it's okay because this is the one I do not like, Autumn Wedding. Sweet figs, fresh woods, burnt sugar, and wedding cake. And I remember talking to Lexi, and she goes, oh, yeah, I didn't care for this one either. And then it said reformulated on the Facebook group when I ordered this. And I was like, oh, it's reformulated. I didn't smell the old one. Maybe I'll like this one. No. It's, there's something in it. There's some note in this that I'm just not loving. And it must be the burnt sugar because... If you remember from my Teddy B's haul, a couple notes that have that burnt sugar note, it just kind of leans like plasticky artificial. And that's kind of what this is giving me with the sweet fig and the wedding cake. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I am going to melt it though because you never know, especially this looks more paraffin than soy. So the paraffin like really does come out whenever you melt it. So I'm still excited to try it. Anyway, you guys. That was my Empire Alchemy haul. I know, like, not super, super descriptive just because I really need to warm these. I wanted to film these, get these out here to share with you, especially because hopefully I really don't want to have a really warm September. I really want to enjoy my fall wax without being 150 degrees outside. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Have you guys tried Empire Alchemy? Have you tried any of these? Which ones are standouts? Which ones do I need to try or be on the lookout for? Any tips, warmers, tricks? How long do you cure for? All the fun stuff when we're talking about a new vendor. Subscribe if you have not. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. Be kind and you matter. I love you all so much. Have a great one. Bye.